Hello everyone, welcome back again. Uh, so today we'll be discussing about a Python problem uh, where we'll be given an array of both positive and negative integers and we need to find the subarray whose sum is equal to zero. Uh, I'll explain you it with a sample input and output. Uh, first line of input contains the size of the array. Second line contains the elements of the array with the space difference. So uh, firstly you must divide this into the subarrays. Uh, so first we'll divide it into single size subarray, single integer. 4 is in subarray, 2, minus 3, and 1, and 6. Here we have completed our 5 subarrays. Then we'll go to subarrays of size 2. Uh, 4 and 2, 4 plus 2 is 6, it's not 0. And 2 minus 3, uh, sorry, yeah. 2 minus 3 is minus 1, it's not equal to 0. 1 minus 3 is minus 2, not equal to 0. 6 plus 1 is 7, it's also not equal to 0. So now we'll go to uh, subarrays of size 3. 4, 2 and minus 3. 4 plus 2 6. 6 minus 3 is mi 3. Uh, it's not equal to 0. We'll go to this. 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Yeah, we got a subarray whose sum is equal to 0. So the output must be yes. If the if we don't get any subarray of uh, sum as 0, then we must give the output as no. So I'll start to code this solution. Firstly, we'll be taking the size of the array as input. As input basically uh, gives string as a written type, we'll be using int to convert it into integer. And we'll be taking the numbers into a list using the list. And we'll be mapping uh, the input into integers using input.split method. So I'll explain you it here. Firstly, we'll be taking the input uh, and then splitting it on the basis of space. And then we are mapping as input by default takes string as input. Uh, we'll be mapping mapping it into integer, and finally we'll be converting into a list of numbers. Perfect. Uh, I'll show you by printing it. First, we'll enter the size as five, the elements as four, two, minus three, one, and six. See, we got those uh, elements uh, numbers in the list. Perfect. So we'll go to the process next. So we'll use a for loop to iterate over our numbers for i in uh, range of 0 to uh, size plus 1. Uh, that means we are also including the size. So we are writing here size plus 1. There will be, uh, if size is 5, there will be 5 iterations. Then uh, for j in range of i plus 1 2 again size plus 1. I'll explain you it uh, in a bit. Uh, just please concentrate on the code for now. We'll be appending it into the numbers dot append. The okay, we need to make a list, empty list here, which contains all the sublists. We'll be appending into them sublist dot append of numbers from index i to j. So now I'll explain you the loop here. For i in range 0, so the iteration starts at 0. And for j in range of 5 plus 1 to size plus 1. That means uh, 0 to 1. So first is 0 to 1. So 4 to 2. First we'll be appending the 4 to 2 into the sublist. Then uh, in the j range will be increased to 1. Then we'll be appending the 4 to minus 3. And j value will be incremented again by 1. Then we'll be appending 4 to minus 3, 1. And then 6. Like in the next iteration of the first for loop, uh, the size for i value becomes 1. Then we'll be appending 2 sublist into the sublist uh, list. Then we'll be appending 2 minus 3. Then 2 minus 3, 1. Then 2 minus 3, 1, 6. Then the i value becomes 2. The index 2 that is minus 3 and the j value becomes i plus 1 to size plus 1 perfect so then i appended those all the sublist into the uh, variable named as sublist now we'll just print it and check Five, one, two, three, four. yeah so we got all the sublists of 1 2 3 4 here uh, 1 2 3 4 we got 4 2 times uh, in the last iteration, no problem. And then 1 2, 1 2 3, 1 2 3 4, 2 3, 2 3 4, 2 3 4. Perfect, perfect, no problem. So we got all the possible sublist of our given numbers. So
so what we'll be doing we'll be calculating the sum of each sublist and if any sublist has sum as zero then we'll be printing yes so for i in our sublists if sum of i that is sum of uh, any of this list 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 3 likewise is equals to 0 then we'll be printing yes and we'll define a variable name as result equal to 0 and if sum is equals to 0 then we'll change the result value as 1 so finally if result equal to 0 then what will happen that is result is not uh, reinitialized as 1 that means sum of any subarray is not equal to 0 so the result will be as 0 so we will be printing no for it now we will check it size of the array is 5 the input is 4 2 minus 3 1 and 6 4 2 minus 3 1 and 6 perfect we got an output as yes I will also print the list here you will get an idea clearly Four, two, minus three, one, and six. Four, perfect. So yes, and the list is two minus three, one. That is two minus three is minus one, and minus one plus one is zero. Yeah. So hope you have understood this question. Uh, bye bye. Take care.